At Carswell Field, Texas, 13 airmen get their final orders from Captain James Gallagher. Their mission, to fly around the world, non-stop. The flight is surrounded with wartime secrecy. There's no fanfare, as Lucky Lady II, a B-50 medium bomber, takes off. Key to the mission's success or failure is mid-air refueling from B-29s, which have been converted into flying tankers to service the Lucky Lady at secret rendezvous for the tricky in-flight operation. Streams out of the tanker's tail is hauled aboard the thirsty Lucky Lady through the tail turret by which the fuel line from the B-29 fueling. The B-50 keeps right on course with her B-29 tanker flying right along just above her. Following a course planned to steer well clear of Russia, Lucky Lady makes four aerial rendezvous to Saudi Arabia, both at night. The Philippines at dusk. Hawaii at dawn. After 23,452 non-stop miles, she flashes across the finish line. Air Secretary Symington and General Vandenberg watch our touched unnamed top secret story record the historic moment. 400 years after Magellan's years, Lucky Lady Second circles the globe in four days, non-stop. It's an average of nearly 6,000 miles a day. And these are the men who did it. Captain Gallagher report and Air Force chieftains congratulate the airmen whose historic flight overnight pushes America around the world.